Have you ever thought that a simple glass pot lid could become a little hero for your mini handheld welder? Today, I'll show you how to turn it into a super handy protective shield. Just pick a clear heat resistant lid, add a layer of UV blocking film, and securely attach it to a DIY frame. It helps shield your eyes from sparks and glare, saves money, and is environmentally friendly too. Give it a try and share your creation. It's simple but seriously cool. I'm going to use this bolt to make a connector for the soldering iron. Not only is it a creative recycling idea, but this mini solder machine is also ultra compact. Small enough to fit in your pocket, ready to make quick fixes on small electronic items in no time. Just pop the bolt into a drill and gently grind one end down to make it smaller. So, what's special about this welding machine? First of all, it's super cost effective. No need to spend money on an expensive machine. Just repurpose items you already have at home. It's cheap and fun, just the way a DIY project should be. Now, take a bolt, screw on a nut, but don't tighten it all the way. Leave a little gap so we can slide a wire through later. Slide it through the steam vent hole on the pot lid. Then use another nut to tighten it and hold everything firmly in place. Grab a small piece of wood, around 10 centimeters long. This will be our handle. Next, I'll mark where I want to drill a hole on the wooden handle. Drill a hole in the handle, just big enough for the bolt to go through. Now, take the bolt and thread it to the hole in the pot lid first, then pass it through the hole you drilled in the wooden handle. Make sure everything lines up nicely. After that, screw on a nut and tighten it to secure the lid and handle firmly together. This way, your handle will be sturdy and ready to use. This is a terminal block for connecting soldering tip. This is an electrical terminal block. It's used to safely connect and secure multiple wires together without soldering. I'll remove the inner part of the terminal block carefully. Then I'll attach it to the bolt that I ground down earlier. This will create a solid connection point for the soldering iron tip. Make sure it fits snugly so the electrical contact is good and secure.
All right, now it's time to work on the wires. Strip about one centimeter of insulation off the end of each wire to expose the copper strands. Be careful not to cut the wires themselves. Now, let's attach the wires to the battery clips. Double check the polarity so everything works safely. The other end of the wire goes to the bolt by the steam vent hole. Wrap some tape around the wire and the handle to keep the wire in place. I'm using a wire that has battery clips attached to both ends. These are old batteries. I'll repurpose the graphite rod from old batteries to make the soldering tip. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity and has a high melting point, making it a great choice for this project. Now, let's disassemble the battery to extract the graphite rod inside. I'll sharpen one end to improve the welding contact point.
watch the video until the end, and let me know which method you like the most. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Connect the battery cord to the terminal block. This will serve as our soldering tip. Here's a metal rod for the soldering tip. This metal part will perform better than the battery core. Now, let's prepare a motorcycle battery. It has a voltage of 12V, which is enough to power this welding machine. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal. This is super handy because I won't have to bother with a soldering iron stand. This helps keep your hands and eyes safe during soldering. This reduces the chance of solder bits flying onto you. Before welding, I'll preheat the soldering tip. Now, I'll test it with two razor blades.
Wow, it works so well. It heats up quickly, creates clean welds, and operates smoothly without any interruptions. A total success. After testing it with razor blades, the results exceeded expectations. Fast and strong welding, a well-deserved success. What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? Don't forget to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Now, I'm going to switch to the metal rod to test its effectiveness. Using this metal rod creates stronger sparks, but with the pot lid protecting me, it feels really safe. The sparks fly much more intensely. It's definitely more powerful. But don't worry. This glass pot lid acts as a protective shield, keeping sparks and bright light away from my eyes and face. That way, I can work safely even with stronger sparks. After testing, I can see that the metal rod not only produces more sparks, but also heats up faster, making the soldering process quicker and more efficient. It's a great upgrade if you want stronger performance without compromising safety. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.